I have found myself sitting with people or in a space of people that I never thought in my life I would sit with. Welcome back to my channel guys. Today we are back with another Black Excellence series video and as you can see this time around I'm actually behind the camera because now we're going to take a different angle. Today we have one of our first interviews in launching that. Sir, can you please introduce us to yourself please? Thank you so much for inviting me. My name is Nzama Mazenga. Uh, I can classify myself as an entrepreneur, culture premier. Um, not a tender premier, but anything, <laughs> anything that has to do with uh, premiership. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Can you tell us um, a bit more about exactly what you do? I'm currently in on a, a, a technology space. I'm one of the uh, head of uh, technologies in one of the major institutions here in South Africa, financial institutions, banks to be precise. But yeah, that's, that's, that's me. So, how did you get yourself in the position that you are in? Starting from what you studied and how you found yourself there. That's a very good question. Um, let me start from the, the studying part. Um, after completing metric, like any other black man, university is the way to go. I went to one of the major universities, which I was studying law, which I did it for, for two years. But unfortunately, due to some financial difficulties, I had to drop out. And after dropping out of the university, I had to look at something that I can do in order to go back to school. Right. It was not easy. My mother, she was a, a vendor a selling uh, on the street. So at one uh, December holidays, we were given um, some cash to go buy some clothes. So what I've done was to take the money that I was given to go buy clothes to register, but not knowing where I'll get the money to continue. So just to clarify, when you went back to school, what did you study? Oh, oh I didn't. Okay, I went back to after the LLB component. So when I went back to school, mm -hmm. I did computer science. Okay. So it was okay. completely different to <laughs> what you started what, what, what I've started with. To twist things around, I had to become a security guard. I was working and also attending school. I was a security guard. Uh, for two years and then after that I moved to a company called Joma Cosmos. Some of them they know it as a football club but for me it was a company. So they hired me to do their laundry for the guys who, who for the players so to say or for the club. My first ever job was with uh, a Vodacom. You mentioned earlier that there's importance in um, standards and how you present yourself. Can you speak more about that and how you've done that in your workspace? Okay, so so I, th I think more of, uh, in, in a workspace, it's a more of, of networking and also how you present yourself to people. Uh, I think some of us, it was hard, especially for us who come from rural areas. Mm -hmm. So, so re remember, our schooling system is very, very different to what it is in an event area. Right. We were not taught about uh, how you present yourself, you were not taught about uh, personality skills uh, or the presenting skills and right. how, how you, you approach how people. you approach people. Unlike whereby you find a time the urban areas where they teach you about how you you get so for some of us it was challenging. Right. Because we had to do this. For me today to be where I am it's, it, it was not through school, it was through persistent right. and, and, and also saying that I can do this. Right. One of the things that we we uh, uh, always have challenge on is this language because you find that at home, even though we were taught English, it was not up to standard. And you come right. this side, you find a sort of a modlicy kind of a student or a co worker or a colleague who articulate this language very well. And it right. becomes a problem for you because some of the words you, you want to say it, mm. but you don't know how. You don't, you first of all don't know how to say it. Yes. And when you manage to say it, there's a better way of saying it that you could have gone for. Yeah. And I think a huge problem is that people equate the ability to speak English with, with intelligence. intelligence. Yes. So if you can't speak English, you are no. unintelligent. Yes. And for me, it started when I, um, the, the talking part started when I got a, a radio gig. 
Right. So way back, I, you've done everything. You know? <laughs> so, okay, so, okay. So way back, uh, there was a community radio station. Um, I applied and I found myself there. Right. And I worked as a presenter, uh, <laughs> and, and it was not easy because that part of 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 English because it was an English radio station. Right. So but, no, 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 not at all. It was it was an English radio, station and I had to present, and it right. was not easy. And I had to to, to go through that uh, 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 cycle of understanding certain words and how to put them, so the confidence grew. And also uh, through that, a colleague of mine used to do motivational speaking. Right. So when you go to 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 this uh, schools, he will invite me. Right. So when sometimes he'll say, "No, just pop in and share because your story is interesting." Mm. So by doing that a bit, at least the confidence. And also, when you start from uh, those uh, lower, your primary, even if you didn't put words well, at least the confidence right. was started to rise. And and at least now it's at a level where, by when I'm sitting in a meeting, I'm able to say things the way I want to say them, right. and, but with respect to, but with the confidence is there. Right. The big lesson that I'm getting from you here is, first of all, you have to step outside of your comfort zone. You have to be willing to learn. Yep. At the end of the day, you have to push yourself because if you don't speak very well, to go and apply for a presenting job where you must speak English and you must be enthusiastic yes. as well, that's no joke. Sharing your story in front of people bit by bit, that's not a joke. Yep. So I'm getting from here, it's very important, push yourself, go for it, Definitely. take that leap. So, so I, I, have, I have sort of identified by, by one professor, I think his name is Professor Daniel Gomale, and he once said to his circle that I have never seen a young man who has a network like this guy, which happens to be me. Yeah. And, and I had to, when I look at it is that there's a lot of young, young guys, young women, but the approach is very, very important again. When you are growing and start uh, uh, sort of uh, building your, your profile and the image and the networking, you should understand that these people that you're meeting up, these are the people who have their own business schedules. Right. So when you meet up with them, meet up with them with an intent to understand how they can assist, not in a monetary way. Sitting with someone who has done something, hearing them talking to you, it will change your ways of thinking because, for instance, if you wanted to say uh, 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 certain words or if you want to approach certain people, they'll say, no, no, don't go there. Mm -hmm. The reason why I don't want you to go there is that because you have been done one, two, three, and four. Right. I want you, when you go and present this to that person, you must have these five items so that you don't come back. Go present them, never come back. I had to call this uh, gentleman, uh, his name is Boy Mbobe. So I was doing a project which I will explain to you. I remember when I said, I have this idea I want to do. He said, but I'm not comfortable. I said, why? He said, no, no, you haven't done one, two, three, and four. Go do that. Because if you meet this person, if you go and meet a minister mm. and present, don't present to come back. You have one shot. Yes, present. Do it right. Do it right. right. Also present your ideas to, to other people. Uh, 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 it's very very important. Right. So so you present it to other people so that they understand and also they can advise from there. And you need to start looking at people that will add value to you. That right. very add is always a key component because if you if you just have 10, 4, uh, 10, 15 people who none of them are value added in your in what you do. Mm. They not they they not your people. You see, so we have this thing. You find someone that I've been thinking of doing this things for the past five years. Who have you engaged? Mm. No, I'm not sure because I haven't done uh, this uh, patent thing. This okay. thing is not yet uh, registered. I said, no, it's not about that. Refine your ideas by meeting people share with them, make sure that they understand. The most important thing is that your vision and ideas need to be shared with others. But remember, you don't sort of wake up in the morning and share your ideas. Yeah. The people that you share with ideas are the people that you have had them in your circle. Right. So the trust is there. Value add people. The value add people. Right. And, 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 and one more thing is that 
when you share this, you're sharing it with people that you know they will give you honest advice because they have nothing to, to lose. What would you say is the key to networking? We all hear the term networking, networking, networking. Where do you start networking? How do you do it? Firstly, it's meeting people. But, but you, you don't just meet people. You meet people by also building your profile, your brand. Right. For instance, I'll just give an example. If if there's a certain powerful businessman that you want to meet, you don't just walk up and go meet up with them. Right. You might have met someone who will also recommend because these people work in that way. Uh, there's this boy who called me yesterday. His name is so and so. Because remember, they don't know you. You're right. not in their space. Right. So do you know him? If, if you have done well in this other person, the recommendation, the referral, to say, no, 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 meet up with him. It's a very, just meet up with him. It's a very good person. Right. Be it a woman and a man, doesn't matter, but it's a very good person. They, they just, just meet up. So how you build your profile, it's how you uh, sort of handle yourself around people. Uh, be it, people don't want people who are too scandalous. Right. Make right. sure that everywhere you go, you watch your back because you want this wisdom, right? I, I have found myself sitting with people or in a space of people that I never thought in my life I would sit with. And that is not just because uh, this Zama Zenga guy is very, he, he, I'm very uh, clever or smart. It's because I've managed to build relationships right. and through that process, People want to see things that I do uh, get some. When people have confidence in you, right. they can do anything, even risking their reputation through you. Right. And and you need to make sure that you you, you also represent you representing yourself, but you also representing that person who had confidence in making sure that you form part of that of that institution. So whilst you're building your image, whilst you you you're networking with people, make sure that you, you always clean. I myself, I'm, I'm, I'm on social media, but I, I, I project myself in a way that my image is not dented. Positive light. Positive light. Right. And it's not, and, and that becomes part of you when you grow. Right. There's certain areas that you don't want to see yourself in. Right. There's certain people that you don't want to associate yourself with in. As a person, irrespective of what field you in, you're a brand. You work in a call center, you work as a you, you're a brand by yourself and you need right. to always protect that at all times. Right. If you want to be an entrepreneur, don't go and want to be uh, Mr. Masingita, who's one of the uh, most prominent uh, Zonga business. Start right. with the upcomings that who are still also at a position where they're still uh, growing. Right. And, and you can tap into them. You'll use their network mm. to grow with them. So you identify what you want to do. Identify key individuals that you think if you associate yourself with, they might add value in your growth. It's not easy. Mm. It takes a bit of time. For you today to sit here and say, I have this network of people, I can tell you it took me five years mm. to work. And, and each and every year I'll be getting two people, three people, four people, and, and, and gradually it grows, it grows, and it gets to where it is at the moment, right. whereby you can pick up a phone and phone certain years. So all I'm saying is that take your time, but look at your circle. Make sure that the people that you hang around with are the best people to grow your brand and image and also uh, I push your, your entrepreneurship capabilities. My name is Nzama Mazenga, chairperson of Ndabuko, my commander and organization for Batsonga. You are now watching Black Excellence brought to you by Benita Daniels. Perfect. <laughs> That's it for today guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe and if you want to see more of these videos then comment down below. Peace and love guys. Thank you.